Okay, buddy. Shh. It's not. Hello. Hi, uh, my name's Summer. I was wondering if it would be possible to. Wait a minute, I can't hear you. Okay. Hello. Hi, my, my name's Summer. I was wondering if I could speak with Sophie Masloff, please. Yes, this is Shane. Please speak louder. Yes. Um, let me see if I can turn the phone up. Did that help? Beg your pardon? Can you hear me a little better now? Yes, that's better. What? Yes. Okay, I'm calling from the Huffington Post Citizen Media Project off the bus. And uh, I was... What, what, what organization? The Huffington Post. Yes. And uh, it's kind of a citizen project called Off the Bus. Yes, and, and I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I'm not going to bug you about who you're voting for. We're just kind of interviewing superdelegates about the process. Okay. And uh, is it okay if I record this conversation to make it easier to write my notes? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm um, just wondering, um, when were you appointed a superdelegate? Uh, well, uh, I was a member of the Democratic National Committee for many years. The superdelegates came into existence in 1980. And you automatically became a super delegate then in 1980 when it came into existence. But it was never pursued. So that's how long I've been there. But nobody knew anything about super delegates. I, honestly, I didn't know anything about them until recently. I, can't hear you. I didn't know anything about them until recently. Yeah, well, most, it's been in existence since 1980. That's when it, that was when it uh, came into existence, but uh, there was a reason for it then. But it's never been, it's never, it's never, it's never been brought into existence or into use since then. Uh, how long have you been in the Democratic Party? I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Okay. How long have you been in the Democratic Party? I've been in the Democratic Party for 70 years. Wow. <laughs> and how would you characterize your involvement in the party? Well, in many ways. I, uh, I was uh, the mayor of the city of Pittsburgh. I was a member of Pittsburgh City Council for 12 years. And I've been a member of the Democratic Party since I got out of high school. In various capacities. Um, I, I know that you, I did a little research on you online. Um, did you attend any colleges or did you go straight into politics out of high school? I went right into the Democrat, into politics when I got out of high school. I never went to college. Um, do you plan uh, to endorse the convention or, de uh, or Dean Brokers a deal? I beg your pardon? Uh, do you plan to endorse before the convention or Dean Brokers a deal? Um, do you plan on um, picking a candidate before the convention, or are you going to wait until after? Well, that's hard to say. At the moment, I want to wait until the convention, until the people speak, until we at least have the primary in Pennsylvania. Then, then I'll think about it. And that's April 22nd. So how important is how the uh, the state, uh, how the, uh, the popular vote, how important is that going to be in your decision? Well, it's very important. I think this is an issue that should be decided by the people, not by the superdelegates. And so after the primary in Pennsylvania, then I'll decide what to do. At the moment, I'm not, I'm not committed. Well, that's all right. Um, have you been contacted by the campaigns and the, and the candidates yet? Well, I've had several calls from people who are interested, especially my constituency here in Pennsylvania, who've told me what they want. But no personal phone calls from Clinton or Obama? No, no ma'am. 
They're dealing with Iowa and Texas right now. Uh, yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> uh, okay, um, what decisions are taking place among your state's delegates and superdelegates? What are you guys talking about? Well, uh, we haven't been doing much talking because there are some uh, superdelegates in, in my county who are committed to one or the other. And so we haven't been talking very much. Uh, is anybody putting pressure on you or calling you constantly? No, ma'am. Um, let's see. Uh, any chance that all superdelegates and delegates will decide amongst yourselves who to vote for? No, I don't think so. Our governor, Red has uh, committed to Hillary. But uh, I, don't, I don't know that anything will be done. Okay. Um, do you support the convention's uh, decision not to count the delegate votes in Michigan and Florida? What did you say? Um, do you support the Democratic uh, mm -hmm. National Convention's de decision not to count the delegate votes in Michigan and Florida? Well, that was, that was a, a matter of, uh, of party law, and that's what they decided, and I would go along with it. I agree. <laughs> Well, um, that's all the questions that they gave me to ask. Is there anything that you'd like to, to add to what you've said so far? No, ma'am. You covered it all. <laughs> well, I thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Okay. You made this very easy. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs> okay. Seven minutes. Not bad. <laughs> well, my first interview since high school. I think I'll smoke a cigarette before I call the next person. <laughs> All right, uh, well, at least I have this for prosperity and it will make it easy for me to write my notes down.